Hello everyone, this is Economic Spy, how are you? Um, I just wanted to make a video, I guess it's uh, what they call silver porn on YouTube now. Um, my favorite uh, company is uh, the Sunshine Minting. Um, and I got uh, uh, my small weight to my large weight uh, on, in the Sunshine Minting uh, brand. Um, and um, I just want to stress real quickly um, that my personal opinion is that you should have smaller ounce weights. Um, that's a whole nother video I'll make, um, which I'm sure uh, people are divided on that issue. Um, but I'll explain my points of view uh, at a later time on that. Um, I got a lot of good uh, knowledge in the industry when it comes to that specific issue along with historical facts uh, that happened in recent bull markets in precious metals. Um, so I'll just, I'll just start out uh, by showing you. Uh, this is a uh, one ounce version. I just got to get my light uh, right here. Uh, that's a one ounce sunshine minting. This one's uh, not technically uncirculated, uh, has a little bit of wear on it. Um, that's the back of it. It's pretty nice. It's trying to get this to work out good for you. That's a one ounce. Um, me personally, um, I'm not too much of an ego kind of guy. Um, this is a, a 10 ounce sunshine minting bar and this is my personal favorite um, out of uh, the nearly 9,000 ounces that I have. Um, uh, I used to own a lot of 100 ounce silver bars until I have uh, did some research and read up uh, on exactly uh, what I was doing uh, and exactly uh, what all entailed. Uh, not just necessarily because it's cheaper to buy bigger. Uh, you always got to re read the fine print uh, in a sense that those bars are cheaper for a reason. Um, because they're first of all common sense tells you they're more expensive um, and at the same time there's a whole bunch of other issues um, entailed with that but uh, it's just my personal opinion that you should stay ounce weights is I would say no less you know than I mean the fractional silver is always fine no matter what because that's small weights anyway um, but 10 ounce, I would say absolutely no larger than 10 ounce. Um, I personally have some um, some bigger bars. You know, I have a 50 ounce bar here, and and uh, I think I only have like three or 400 ounce silver bars now. Uh, I used to have like um, like 22 or 23 hundred ounce silver bars, but after I started researching and reading up. Uh, that's when prices were cheaper, and I had the flexibility and opportunity to exchange those out for bigger or smaller weights. And I'm glad I did when I did it. Um, but anyhow, um, here's a 10 ounce silver bar for you. Uh, this is the Sunshine Minting. Pretty nice bar. Just trying to. This is only my third video, so you have to bear with me. Um, trying to get the lighting right and everything for this to really show you the beauty of these bars because uh, silver is one of the most reflective metals that there are um, and if the light hits it just just right like that you can't see anything but if it hits it just right like that you can really really see the fields in it, it just really pops the light so that's a 10 ounce sunshine minting bar for you uh, my personal favorite so um, and that's probably my personal favorite weight out of anything I own too. Um, here's an extruded uh, style, they call it. Um, this is 50 tri ounces, 0.999 fine silver, 50 tri ounces, sunshine minting. Uh, tapered edges, uh, extruded. Nothing on the back, just uh, plain Jane flat. So that's a 50 ounce. Um, and here's a hundred ounce. Um, what I, not because of the weight, not because of my ego. I just like the way this bar looks. It's not because it's big. It's just because 
I would think because it's a wider style bar, the mirror on it actually is uh, wider, so it just reflects better. I guess that's maybe the way, I, the reason I like it. I don't know. Uh, but that's the 100 ounce version of the Sunshine Minting. Um, it's a struck style, they call it. Um, so there's the edge. It's flat, polished up. The back just looks like a regular old mirror. That looks really nice, doesn't it? You can even see the webcam in that. It's really nice. Um, this is uh, one of uh, three or four of the 100 ounce bars I have. Um, so I, I like that style quite a bit. Uh, but anyhow, um, the next video I'm going to make uh, shortly after this one is uh, something interesting that I uh, heard in a private interview session uh, from David Morgan. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you YouTubers and uh, internet goers know who David Morgan is by now in the precious metal field. Uh, he's uh, uh, very big into silver. Um, but I, I, uh, I'm going to play a clip. Uh, in one of his last uh, silver investors uh, uh, email alerts that he, he sends out. I'm a subscriber to the Morgan Report, so I get stuff like this. Um, and uh, actually, um, you wouldn't be able to get this video uh, unless you have subscribed to him. So this is actually kind of an insight for you without having to pay for it. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, so in my next video, basically what it's going to be about is uh he says well I'm, i might as well just let you hear it from uh the man's mouth himself so uh stay tuned and i encourage you to watch uh i'll, I'll i think i'll call it uh, uh david morgan uh, silver bullion so stay tuned for that video uh i hope you like you know the the bullion i showed you here um I don't think I really need to show you my whole collection because I don't think I could put it in one frame anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Take care.